Although it happened almost 30 years ago, the murder of Paul Girard still crosses the minds of Marquette City policemen who worked on that case. Detectives say the motive for the killing is clear. All they need now is the right person to come forward. What is now labeled a hate crime was simply murder back in 1988. In the safe and quiet city of Marquette, a man was stabbed nearly 80 times. Sure, I remember the day uh, very well. It was a uh, fall morning. It came in relatively early in the morning. The park was filled with locals and tourists here to enjoy the fall colors and NMU's homecoming. Uh, and I happened to be at work here in the station and the call originally was that Somebody wasn't sure, but they thought there might have been a mannequin or something. When police arrived at the scene on Presque Isle near Chief Kabogam's grave, they knew right away it was no mannequin. The couple taking a morning walk had stumbled upon the bloody body of a man laying lifeless in the grass. Paul Gerard was a local man, well known in the social scene of downtown Marquette. He was also gay. Police believed then, as they do today, this was the reason Gerard was killed. Well, the relationship to the hate crime scenario was based on his lifestyle, but not necessarily based on anything that we found at the scene. There was a relation there between his lifestyle and, and what happened. Police pursued various leads, but were never able to bring a suspect to trial. Police have no real leads. They need your help. We're finding ourselves in a position where there's just not enough uh, uh, physical evidence and other bits of evidence to put together with the information we have regarding the suspect that we feel is involved to uh, take this case to the prosecutor and, and request a warrant. And now, it's 27 years later. Police still need your help to finally solve once and for all what happened on Presque Isle that quiet fall morning in 1988. Officials believe that someone, somewhere, knows something that will bring Paul Gerard's killer to justice. And join us tomorrow for part two of UP Cold Case. We'll have the latest on what detectives are calling the suspicious death of Adam Campbell down in Escanaba. And that's coming up tomorrow on your TV6 News Tonight.